Hello everybody, this is Stringham and we're back to kick off round two for Group F. Group F has been an intriguing group thus far, and we will be starting off with Hex going up against Dino Fans, Cheer Knights taking a crack at Mr. Dinosauria, and then LP Gozzi going up against Team Africa. So, not much to say here, without further ado, let's get on with our first match. Well, this should be good. Both of these guys go off to winning starts last time. Right, in the red corner for Dino Fans, we got Packy Rhinosaurus, Heroic Tank. Um, okay, so both Dino Fans and Hex want to swap when HP's below half. Oh, and this field is actually good news for Dino Fans, because Lightning Dinosaurs have terrain advantage here. So this Packy Rhinosaurus will get the first hit. Backing up the Packy Rhinosaurus, we got Armatus. Uh, we didn't, well, Armatus kind of finished the job last time against Team Africa. Right. As for Hex in the blue corner, as you can see here, we got Tank. Tank will have the type advantage over the Packy right in the source, but it will get hit first. And in fact, it'll get hit by a crap. Which is not which is not good for Hex, but very good if you're um, Dino fans. But we all know how resilient this little tank dinosaur can be. So I'm sure they'll tank a crit just fine. Backing up the tank, we got Alpha Rajasaurus. This Alpha Raj. Didn't really see too much of it in round one. It was mainly tank doing most of the work. Well, which one of these two will make it two wins out of two? Okay, first things first. Get, a, get the terrain advantage over with. Kaki Rhinosaurus starting with a crit. Okay, so both of them want to swap when HP is below half, which makes my job easier. Ooh, that's a tie. The Gatling Spark will be triggered. Ooh, there's another hit from the Packy Rhinosaurus. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Impressive. But I think Tank is probably going to have to tag out here. If he can. And he does. Oh, she does, I should say. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was a good move there if I tank. Get some health back, recover, and see and let the Raj take over. I think the key for Hex for um Hex here is to kill this Pachyrhinosaurus. So it doesn't have it gain any more advantages from the terrain. Okay, so Pachyrhinosaurus will attempt the swap, so doesn't wanna get it doesn't wanna swap it out here. Can Dino fans swap it out for another day? Ooh. He's trying, he's trying it. Just can't seem to get it out of there. Another tie. And slowly but surely, that tank is healing as well. But after all that, he gets the crit, gets the swap, and well, it's heroic type, so the Rajasaurus is dead. Which means... The tank is going to have to come back in. Yep, look at that. And saving that Packy Rhinosaurus for a rainy day. A big move that could be for Dino fans. Oh, not good for the Hex. This tank is resilient, but does, it, does she have enough in her to take on an arm at this and a Packy Rhinosaurus? I don't think so. Well, especially if it keeps being ties. Oh, no, no. I, th I think that's going to be it. Bonus point win looks likely for Dino fans. But, yeah, look at that. Impressive resilience. Just a regular hit, and it only does that much damage. So it is impressive resilience from Tank, but I just don't think it's going to be enough. And, yeah, that surely has to be it. Yeah, there it is. Unfortunate from Hex there, didn't really get going. The type, the terrain advantage really helped Dino fans. And Dino fans secures the bonus point win. Could be a crucial win, that could be. And that will, for the time being, put him top of Group F. Right, on to our next matchup then. 
Okay, in the red corner, for Chair Knights, we have an Amagasaurus. Chair Knights got off to a winning start last time out against El Gozzi. Hmm. Okay, so terrain advantages or disadvantages won't affect Chair Knights in this matchup. Backing up the Amagasaurus, we got the Steg. Stegosaurus also pulled its weight in round one as well. Did well. Right then, in the blue corner, for Mr. Dinosauria, we have Tajonosaurus. Mr. Dinosauria narrowly defeated in round one. Could have gone either way that matchup against Hex, but it didn't go Dinosauria's way. Will this match go his way this time? Well, we could be in for a quick match because both of these guys have super powered crits. Backing up the Tajongosaurus, we got Super Despletosaurus, Awaken Mode on 3. Oh well, I actually don't need this. Just need to double check when both want to swap. Okay. Yeah, okay, so Chair Knights when HP's below half, Dinosauria in the yellow. Well, in the red. But yeah, in fact, all the dinosaurs in this matchup have very powerful crits, so we could be in for a very quick match or a very slow match. And it is a Magasaurus getting off to the getting off the first hit. Here comes the softening beam. Gonna soften up that Tajongosaurus there. Weaken its defenses in a tie. Ooh, but a crit from the Tajongosaurus. Dinos- Oh, wow! Well, time to swap the Magasaurus. Tajongosaurus is he's not the king of the crits for no re- is, He ain't king of the crits for nothing. Oh, that's a tie. That's probably good news for Dinosauria, there. Right? But look at that damage. The softening beam charge combo. Really effective, and I almost forgot to swap out the Amargosaurus, but it doesn't matter because he's not going to swap out. Oh no, this Stegosaurus comes in, but it's going to get hit by Tajongosaurus. And Chain Knights is stuck with the Amargosaurus. Oh, that's a tie. Oh wow. <laughs> Oh, but the Tajongosaurus will get the swap. And we'll, we'll have a munch on a cake to celebrate as well. Oh, wow, I healed up a lot. Taking out the Amargosaurus and putting Mr. Dinosauria into a decent lead. All right, that's once. Ooh. It's time for Chain Knights to get off a big crit, and this will be a big crit. It's a Spike Arrows. All about the crits in this matchup so far. Oh, look at the damage. Oh, and an Earth Barrier as well. Chain Knights turning this match around. That's twice. Ooh, now that could be a crucial hit for Chair Knights. And I've done it again. Hit the swap button. Ugh. I say it's crucial because... I mean, we'll just ignore this, but... It's awakening time for the Despedosaurus. But that's bad because this steg got Earth Barrier protecting it. Oh, he's not getting hurt! Okay, now the Tajongosaurus will get hit. Oh, well, from being on top to being behind, Chain Knights is on top. And there's no denying it. Oh, I forgot it's got a softening beam effect as well. Okay, yeah, Chain Knights is probably going to win this match. And there it is. Wow. Wow, that Steg really swept up there. Despite the decent start from Mr. Dinosauria, it is Chair Knights taking the win. And a good win indeed. Right then, on to our final match of this session. Right, I think Team Africa do have a quick strike dinosaur. Ooh! Well, 
This is very good news for Gossi. Because in the red corner, as I'm sure you can all see, we got to Uri. And I'm sure you can all guess, even without me putting up the terrain in the video, we're on the volcano field. And Terry will have terrain advantage. Can Gozzi use that to his advantage? So, which is in which is interesting because Team Africa have a have a Frovenator in first, which has the quick strike. So as per the rules, the terrain effects will play out first, so Terry will get the first hit. And then the Afrovenator will get will go for the quick strike. Alright, backing up the Terry, we got Ceratosaurus. This Ceratosaurus is a very interesting addition for Gozzi. We'll see how it fits. Okay, so as for Team Africa, in the blue corner, we got the Afrovenator. Afrovenator, as I said, has the quick strike, so it will go for that after the terrain advantage is played out. It's a guy. Okay, so Gozzi will get off a scissors. Backing up the Afrovenator, we have the vol we have not the volcano field, we have the Aranosaurus. Heroic type. Might need to pull its weight here because, as I said, Terry has the type advantage over a Frovenator and it has terrain advantage, so. The odds look good for Gauzy, it looks good. And he, he needs it because he lost the last in the round one, does he? Don't want to, don't want to start with two defeats. So let's get the terrain advantage over with first. No, they called the bluff. And now we can. Go for scissors for the approvenate. Oh wow, look at the damage! Right, let's see what Terry gets. Oh, he's called the bluff again! Boosh! Oh well, that was quick. That was very quick. <laughs> right, back to normal now. Boosh! Oh, here comes heat eruption. Well, if, if, well, I think Gozzi couldn't have asked for a better start. Getting off a heat eruption, just wasting the Afrovenator during like two seconds. Boosh, boosh. Yeah, I, I think that is true. I think failing to get off the quick strike, you take more damage. If you get hit. Oh, 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 of course, a Cyclone. <laughs> and Gozzi has Death Fire as well if he needs it. But at this point, I don't even know if he's going to need it. Another tie. But the cyclone effect means he gets a hit. Well, everything's coming up trumps for Gozzi so far. Ooh. But. But. Aranosaurus getting the egg attack. And it's heroic type as well. Which means Terry will take a lot of damage. And the rush to come as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, the death fire has been triggered. Will Terry survive this foot? Oh yeah, of course he will. Well, let's see what happens. I mean, swapping's irrelevant here, because if Terry gets a hit, he wins. Oh, and he doesn't! Well, there's a storming start from Gozzi, but the Amranosaurus is pulling up a fight. And Terry goes down. Oh, we've seen this before, haven't we? We've seen this scenario happen many times. But it's not happening this time. Godzi gets the job done. <laughs> but, ooh, should it have been a bonus point win? But Godzi won't complain. It is a win on the board over Team Africa to get his campaign up and running. Right, that, that's, that should conclude round two for this group. So let's have a look at how Group F stands. So yeah, an interesting, interesting group so far. We have Cheer Knights and Dino Fans up top with seven points apiece. Hex and Gozzi on three points. Team Africa on that solitary point, and then Mr. Dinosauria on zero. So let's see how, what round three will have store for us. Ooh, we will have Hex going up against Cheer Knight. Gozzi taking on Dino Fans, and then a clash, a big clash at the bottom between Team Africa and Mr. Dinosauria. So even though these two have yet to win in this tournament. The fact that these guys got to play each other in round three. A golden opportunity for one of these two to close the gap. But that's going to be a while away yet. So, I, so yes, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, do whatever. Thanks for watching. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. Mm -hmm.